surf this. Hey guys, welcome back to Clash with Corey. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Also, check out the details of my videos when you get a chance. I got a lot of good resources for you in there. I've got a link to my Discord server if you want to hang out with me. I've got links to WHF's recruiting Discord server if you're interested in joining the WHF family. I've also got links to WHF's live streamers. If you want to see some of our uh, CWL Wars live, give our live streamers a follow. You'll get a notification when they're streaming, and you can check out some of this action that we have in live. So today's video, I am not in WHF. I am down in House of L uh, with my mini account. I got an invite this morning from Big Marn to come down and cover uh, FWL final. FWL is a friendly war league. So, and I was really intrigued by this. I'm like, man, all right, what are their breakdowns? What, are, what kind of attacks are they going to use? You know, I have a feeling I'm going to be seeing some different kind of content than what I'm used to. And, and I really like that sort of variety. So thank you, Big Marn, for giving me the invite to come down here. Um, Looking pretty close at this point. You know, we got five hours left in the war, so still anybody's game at this point. It's going to come down to the heavy hitters and who gets it done at, gets it done at the end. Uh, but I was really intrigued by this league, and I definitely wanted to do this video because this is for, you know what I mean, this is going out to clan leaders and elders and interested parties that are, that are interested in, in war. Um, and the FWL is going to be a much smaller breakdown than a lot of these bigger leagues. So it's going to be in reach for a lot more clans out there than, than some of the larger leagues are with some of the bigger breakdowns and, and huge clans it's not easy to build a clan that big it's not even close to easy it, it takes an insane amount of time and effort uh to build a very large very successful clan so smaller leagues like the fwl are going to be in reach for a lot more clans than a lot of those bigger leagues are for, for example they've got a small division where the minimum breakdown is just 10 people one town hall 11 three town hall 12s and Excuse me, I'm sorry. One Town Hall 11, three Town Hall 10s, and six Town Hall 9s, all right? So, and that's, it's so much easier to build a clan with that minimum size than it is 30 or 40 people. So there's going to be a lot more clans that are, in, you know, if they're interested, that can get into these smaller leagues. So I just wanted to let you guys know there's more options out there for you. The, you know, FW has larger divisions too. Their large division is minimum is two Town Hall 11s, eight Town Hall 10s, and 10 Town Hall 9s. But another nice feature about the FWL is... Uh, when you're matched up with a certain clan for a match, you guys can negotiate a larger breakdown. So if you want to throw Town Hall 12s in there or, or bigger wars and stuff like that, that is an option um, if it's agreed upon by both clans. So if both clans end up can't agreeing or if one doesn't have enough to, to, to meet that higher breakdown, then it falls back down to that minimum breakdown. And those are the numbers that I just gave you for those smaller, you know, 10v10 wars, 20v20 wars. Uh, you know, they've also got an NDNR league that I believe is going to start this next season. Well, that means that's no dip, no reach. So you might notice no dip, no scout. And that's going to be a pretty heavy minimum breakdown there. They're going to have four Town Hall 12s, four Town Hall 11s, four Town Hall 10s, and three Town Hall 9s. So still, minimum breakdown is only a 15 versus 15, but but much heavier weights in there, higher, higher Town Hall levels in, in that league as well. So, you know, if you're a little bit smaller clan and you're still interested in doing some competitive wars, I, I would suggest checking them out. And if you guys haven't experienced competitive wars yet, give it a shot. It's a lot of fun. It's the best part of the game. And I don't know about you guys, but I, I got sick of Supercell matchmaking a long time ago. How often do you really match up against a fair and competitive clan? If you're a smaller clan, the answer is not very often. You're either, you either have a distinct advantage or you have a very distinct disadvantage in, in these, these random matches that they're given. So I would suggest checking out the FWL or some of these other smaller leagues as well if you're interested and uh because it's going to be like I said it's going to be in reach for a lot more clans than those larger leagues are so you know I hope you guys I hope you guys enjoy the videos uh, this was definitely intriguing for me because I get to see some different content than I normally see I've got a nice bowler witch triple coming down on uh, number four from Sh oh, wow I should have looked at that name before I tried to pronounce it I'm not even going to try I'm number nine very nice attack going in here. 
takes advantage of the fact that there's just a multi-target in, in the middle of that base. So try to send his tanks in there and get it. Has a nice queen walk walking around the outside. I'm guessing he knew there was a hound in there. So that's a really smart choice. Sending that queen on the outside so you don't have to deal with the hound. Unfortunately, those witches in there might end up popping the hound. They are definitely locked on. But I think by the time they do, there's just not going to be much of this base left. So it's not going to matter a whole heck of a lot. Ooh, this is going to be a close one. Dang. What's this going to come down to? Probably come down to Skelly's tanking that single for the queen. Oh, the queen's going to go down. Dang, what a close hit. Man, nice triple though. Hey, three stars is three stars. So another nice thing about this, they start running Town Hall 9s. I'm going to be able to pull some Town Hall 9 content out of this too. And I'm really excited about that because I get that question a lot of the time. Hey, Corey, dude, can you do some Town Hall 9 videos? And I'm like, I would love to. I really would. Uh, you know, there's still a lot more clashers at Town Hall 9 than there is at Town Hall 10. So as a content creator, covering those areas where there's a lot more clashers is really beneficial. But... As you guys know, if you watch my videos before, or if you're you know familiar with CWL Invite, there's no more Town Hall Nines there. The minimum breakdowns just don't even include Town Hall Nines at all, so I, I don't have access to that much Town Hall Nine content. You know, in my other clan, the Royal Redcoats, I think we're running like two Town Hall Nines of War or something like that. So not not a lot of opportunity. So I'm definitely going to take this opportunity to make a Town Hall Nine video. Uh, they had a lot of great Town Hall Nine witch attacks. And I'll definitely check back in for the final score on this this uh, war as well. Here, let's times two this replay again. Another nice bowler witch attack. You know, when you get these bases with these channels running down the middle, it's really nice when you can find a way to take advantage of those channels, either by getting a queen in there with a you know small kill squad to get some value, queen charge down those channels. We've seen we've seen that be really effective. And bowler witch is another one where if you can get those bowlers just walking down those channels, giving them access to most of the base, you can find a lot of success there as well. So this one's kind of dying out. It's gonna be another close one. Had some Max Valks come out of that uh that ram there that ram made it all the way through the base literally all the way from one side you can see where it broke up here all the way down to there nice stuff so gonna have just enough tank in left over with that final witch and valk for that queen to pop her ability and get this base taken out oh wow look at this we're gonna end on another single just like the other one got a bunch of archers there that are gonna tank that single while the queen manages to take it out another close but very nice triple this one is from game of jabronis so i hope i pronounced that one correctly all right, guys, I hope you liked the video. If you're a smaller clan, check out some of these other leagues and these smaller divisions. Uh, competitive wars are awesome. They're the best part of this game, hands down. And with that, I'll see you in the next video. Nerf this.